I'm Abby Esparza with Envato Touch Plus, and today we'll be looking at three different quick ways to warp text in Adobe Photoshop. So let's get right into it by first looking at Photoshop's warp text feature, which is going to be your go-to for things like creating arcs or easy text warps that affect the whole text. If you have a logo or graphic, go ahead and set it up. Of course, you can do this after, or you can just not have one. This is great for logos, posters, book covers, CD covers, anything where you need some strong, in-your-face, stylized text. Use the type tool to type out your phrase. In this case, let's warp. I'm using the Zen Zero font, if you were curious. We'll want to make sure both the type tool and text layer is selected. And then looking towards the top right of the type tools toolbar, you'll see an icon of a T with a curved line underneath it. Hitting that will open up Photoshop's warped text settings. And from here, you can choose from dozens of different styles, but they'll all have the same three setting options. Bend, which will control the curve of the text. Horizontal distortion, which will distort from left to right or right to left. And then vertical distortion, which will distort from top to bottom or bottom to top, giving you a really nice zoom effect. But today, we'll be going for a very classic arch, with a bend of plus 50%. And then to reverse the curve's direction, if you want to mix and match different curves, you can change the plus 50 to minus 50 to create almost a circle effect. However, I encourage you to play with all of these different styles and experiment with their settings, as there's really endless possibilities here and probably one of the easiest ways to warp text in Photoshop. But we'll move on to one of the more fun ways to warp text in Photoshop, which is Photoshop's warp mode which is great not only for warping text, but images and shapes as well. You'll just follow the same process we do here. First, you wanna type out the letter you wanna warp. I typically only do one letter at a time. However, whole words will work just fine. So whether it's a shape or text layer, you wanna make sure to right click rasterize layer. And then from here, you can access Photoshop's warp mode by making sure both the move tool and the layer you wanna warp is active. Check out the upper left-hand corner of the Move Tool toolbar and look for Show Transform Controls. We want to take a double look and make sure that it's checked. Now, we'll enter Free Transform Mode by clicking on one of the Transform Controls that appear around the rasterized layer. And as long as you're in Free Transform Mode, you can enter Photoshop's Warp Mode by clicking on the icon of the four curved squares found in the upper right-hand corner of the Transform toolbar. And now you can pull, push, and drag the Warp Mode's transform points to shape the text to your liking. Once you're happy, go ahead and click the check mark and then repeat this with any letters that you might need warped. Again, great to use on images and shapes as well as text. Love the warp mode. Once you're all done, you can always group or merge your layers together. Last but not least, we'll be looking at how to warp text using the pen tool. Or more accurately, we'll be looking at how to warp their paths. First, create a new layer and select the right pen tool for the job. In my case, it'll be the Curvation Pen Tool. Not great for angles, great for curves. Once you have your pen path created, select the Type Tool and click towards the beginning of the pen path. And then go ahead and type out your phrase. The text will follow the curve of the path as opposed to going in a straight line. And you can do this with anything that has a path. For instance, shapes, as seen here with a circle. This is great when you want your text to follow a certain shape, but you don't actually want to distort the text itself. And there you have it. Three simple ways to morph and warp text and their paths into whatever shape you might need. So as always, keep experimenting. And if you're looking to learn more, why not check out one of the other wonderful tutorials that Tuts Plus has to offer.